If you've been watching movies for a while, you've probably seen at least one where a lady in red appeared. Most times she's in a red dress, but she can be seen wearing other pieces used to represent the same symbolism. The Whore of Babylon in the Bible, Kuchisake Ona in Japanese legend, the general wearing of red in Celtic folklore, and the lady in red ghost sightings, as well as many other variations, form an overwhelming consensus that seeing a woman in red is a warning of impending risk or danger, but this isn't always the case. In American movies, red in general is used to represent temptation, love, and passion, or death. There are some times when the color may be thrown in just for the sake of it in lower budget films, but in most cases and in terms of larger films with larger budgets, this color is used in a context tied to a deeper meaning or representation. In some instances, it's used to represent a double meaning within the same character, creating multiple levels of interpretation or a symbol within a symbol. One example of the lady in red shown before death is in The Matrix. Created by the character Mouse as an image to be objectified, she represents distraction in the training program and is shown right before death when the team is in The Matrix. The Matrix uses costume colors that are neutral and plain in the background that allows bright colors to stand out during certain scenes. Reds are only used for two characters in the first Matrix and these characters either meet their demise or foreshadow the demise of someone else. Kuchisake Ona the legend says that she can be seen wearing a beige or red trench coat and a face mask roaming the streets looking for victims to ask, am I pretty? The response and energy from the victim will decide their final fate. The wrong answer will result in death. Another interpretation of red is passion or love. An example of this is seen in Pretty Woman worn by the character Vivian played by Julia Roberts. When we see Vivian in this memorable scene, it's the first time Edward Lewis played by Richard Gere expresses a level of admiration through his facial expressions. Her character was already endearing, but the red dress scene allows the audience to fall in love with her character even further. Slippery little suckers. Along with passion and love, red symbolizes death here too in a way. It's the first time the audience gets to see Vivian dressed as an adult, so the red can represent death of her old self before the birth of the new person we start to see after the opera. <laughs> Niobe, played by Jada Pinkett Smith, is the previous love interest of Morpheus and the current love interest of Captain Locke in The Matrix Reloaded. Her character is presented as passionate in regards to her missions, and she still has a soft spot for Morpheus. An example of a character seen in red with many layers of symbolism tied to them is the Christabella character of Devil's Advocate played by Connie Nielsen. The portrayal of red shown in the Christabella character is trifold. She represents temptation or passion, a curse, and death. She's a temptation for the married character Kevin. She has a goal of creating a generational curse by birthing the Antichrist, and she dies. Within the same character, we are shown literal and metaphorical representations of passion, curses, and death, giving her character many layers while only appearing in a few scenes. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that some movies don't seem to have deeper meanings tied to the costumes worn by the characters, and 365 Days is a prime example of this. In 365 Days, we have an example of where the color may mean something or absolutely nothing at all. Laura, played by Anna Maria Sicluca, I'm sorry if I jacked that up, wears a red dress during a shopping scene and in a club after her new hairstyle. Based on the ending outcome of her character, it can be deduced that red is used to represent death, but based on the plot, the script, the characters, and their interactions with each other, this simply can't be confirmed. This is an example of a smaller budget film that may have been less concerned with symbolism and more concerned with the impact created by seeing the main character in certain outfits that happen to be this color.
Red has its general meanings, but context is important when trying to predict the character's motives or the part they'll play in the grand scheme. Movies are an avenue of artistic expression and in art, the ideals and beliefs of the artist are infused within the set, costume, and overall feel, immersing the audience and leaving clues that may have more depth and significance than initially expected. And on that note, have an awesome day. Be good to yourself and good to others. Peace.